Hey y'all, hey y'all, it's your girl Mama Bear checking in. It's story time. I want to come and talk to you guys for a second. While it's quiet and the kids are outside on the trampoline, it's just me and our money. We're just sitting down here just talking. And look what she made me. My favorite, y'all. It's um mm, it's so good, y'all. When I'm not feeling good, my baby always, my oldest, our money, she always make me feel better. She made me a coffee, y'all, with caramel and um and whipped cream, y'all. It is the bum.com. But anywho, I want to talk to y'all for a second. We're going to talk about being a teen mom. 16 and pregnant. That's the topic for today because I was a teen mom. So I want to come, you know, just talk about it for a second, guys. Yes, as you all know, I was a teen mom. Um, I got pregnant with our money at 16. I had her when I turned 17. I was basically doing everything in the book that I was supposed to be doing. Not listening to my mom, running away from home, not going to school. So that's how I had our money. I had everything that I needed at home, but I still just did what I wanted to do. Running away, everything, 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 everything. But I just wanted to, you know, come talk to y'all about it for a second. Being a teen mom, it wasn't always easy. It was more hard than anything because I was a baby myself. Like, I'm still in learning this mother thing. Like, it's been me and our money since day one. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. That's my daughter talking to me, too. Okay, I'm already gone. Go, go, go. Okay, so I was... Okay, y'all. Where was I? Dang, girl, go. You know, baby, Lou, I was there. Okay, y'all. I was a teen mom. Um, it was, it's always been me and our money. Of course, I had her when I was, no, I got pregnant when I was 16. Had her at 17. Running away from home, not listening to my mom, not going to school. Basically doing whatever I wanted to do, I was doing it. I, it wasn't, I didn't want to do what my mom said. Dude, she wanted me to go to school. I didn't want to do that. At the time, me being dumb, trying to run behind some boys, like, that's basically what happened. I'm going to keep it out of the way real with y'all on this page. Because on this page, I know lies being told. I'm going to keep it out of the way, 100. I'm going to sugarcoat. I got a 14-year-old who I don't want to follow behind me so my main focus to her like my main thing is i want her to stay focused them boys can wait they don't mean you no good they can wait listen i always tell her listen to me i've been there done that they only want one thing and once they get it that's over with that's how i got pregnant with her so i just want to come talk to my young girls for a second like take it from me i'm a single mom of five i wish this on nobody i wish it on nobody it is so hard being a single mother of five I got a set of twins. I got um, the twins, Chloe and Carter. I got Key Money and I got Cameron and I got our money. Take it from me, y'all. I have five kids. I, it's, it's it's hard. It's hard out here. It, I'm telling you, some, some days I'm like, Lord, what I'm going to do? Like, well, what I'm going to do to get through this? Like, it's hard. I'm not going to lie. It's hard. So I want y'all ladies to remember, especially my teen girls, close your legs. A boy will only want one thing and once he get it, he gone. That's how I got our money. So to my little teen girls who think it's okay to not listen to their mom, not do it, not do it, mom say do it, it's not cute. Trust me, it's not cute. Yeah, I graduated. My mom and my my mom and my dad, they paid for me to, you know, go to high school. I mean, they paid for my online classes, not go to high school. I did online classes to graduate to um get my high school diploma online. So, yes, I'm thankful for that. I do have my high school diploma, but still, I didn't get the experience of walking across the stage. I didn't get to grab my high school diploma. My whole family didn't see me graduate. That's what I do. That's what I. That's what hurt me the most that I couldn't graduate because I was pregnant with her money. But she, over the years, we grew up to we grew up together. So she has taught me a lot. So I'm not gonna act like she's just a bar, she's just a no. She's my biggest blessing. That's my best friend. Our money is my dog, but. My young girls, remember, school first, books first, graduate first. Them boys, they're going to be here at, at, on the back end. You know what I'm saying? Them boys, they can wait. Y'all folks go to school, graduate, do the right thing. Like, this is not the move. It's not. I never regret any of my children. I love all my children the same. I just wish I could have waited. Y'all take this from me, from somebody who's got five kids who's 31 years old now. I make it look easy. Like, I hold this load on my back. Like, it's easy. It is easy. It don't got easy over the years. I have my trying time. I have my times. But with God on my side, ain't nothing impossible. I, I, I always, I stay prayed up. 
But I just want y'all to know, like, it's not. Keep y'all legs closed. Do the right thing. Go to school and graduate. Take it from me. I've been there, done that. I wish I woulda listened to my mama. I wish I woulda went to school like she asked me to go. I wish I woulda did everything my mama asked me to did. But no, Mookie wanted to be grown. Mookie wanted to do what she wanted to do. That's how I got our money at 16 years old. She, it's not a bad the room in the back then. I, I was like, I was embarrassed. I'm not gonna lie. I was the only one at school pregnant. I was embarrassed. I was getting big. I was, it's, it's gone easy. You're going to feel like everybody looking at you, everybody talking about you. That's how I felt. If you don't want that to happen to you, keep your legs closed. Go to school. Listen to your parents and do the right thing and graduate. Because it's hard out here. Cost of living is high. It's hard out here. I'm telling you, you're going to have to get on Section 8, Medicaid, food stamps, EBT, all that. I'm telling y'all, like, I'm going through that, like, been there, done that, like, I work, like, I be so tired, y'all, it's, it's, I, it's, I can't even complain, I try not to complain, because I laid on my back, and got these children, like, I, like, I did that, I don't expect nothing from nobody, I don't, because at the end of the day, these are my children, a daddy, no, they, they all me, I hold this weight down over here, Ain't no daddy, ain't no nothing. It's just me, single mama, five. Get that correct, five. Five kids now, by myself, holding it down. And again, I don't expect nothing from nobody. Why? Because these fives over here belong to me. Again, I laid on my back and had them. But I just want y'all ladies to know, like, it's not cute. It's not cute. Like, y'all keep y'all legs closed. Like, do what your parents say do. Go to school, like, graduate. Get some money, like get your business, like like grow up and be some, be some out of somebody. Like, come on, like y'all just listen to me. Take it for somebody who don't been there, done that. Like I know, I preach this to my oh, I preach this to our money so much because I don't want her to be like me. You get what I'm saying? I would never want her to be like me. I want her to grow up. I want her to lead an example for these other folks siblings because she's gonna be the first one to graduate. Yeah, I want baby to graduate. Like, I'm going to be there. If I got to go broke to see it, I'm going to be there. My baby going to high school. This is where I start messing up at right here. This is where. So I'm so hard on her right now because I want her to graduate and lead by example. These boys only want one thing. And once they get it, adios. I'm telling you, I, I know. Trust me, I know. So we finna hit ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, and 12th grade. I like, my baby gonna make it. My baby gonna make it. Watch. I just want her to be an example to her siblings. But y'all, I ain't gonna talk y'all off. I just want to want y'all to get on here and just, you know, just listen to me for a minute. Because it hurt my heart to see, like, these young girls out here just, I've been there so I know what's going on. My baby don't have them type of friends. I told her to cut them off. Because I know what type of friends them is. I know them grown ones, cut them off. She think I be trying to be mean and funny and not giving her enough room to breathe. No, I'm doing this because I know. I have been there, I done that. Grown friends, uh-uh. You were born by yourself, you gonna die by yourself. Tell them baby, we ain't worrying about no friends. Baby gonna graduate and I stand on that. I stand on all 10 about any of my children, but my oldest, our money, the one who I got pregnant with at 16, Mm -mm. She will not follow behind me. Not. She will be better than me. And God is my witness. He killed me right now. She will be better than me. Than I ever would be. Than I ever was. But I just. I ain't going to keep going. Y'all ain't going to get going. Because this subject is really like touchy. So I'm going to let y'all go. To my ladies. Remember. Keep them legs closed. Them niggas. I mean. Oops. Sorry. Them boys. They can wait. Make them folks wait. Because I'm telling you, once you open them legs, buddy is adios. Y'all folks go to school and graduate. Don't follow behind me. Don't follow behind my mistakes. And to our money. I'm so proud of the young lady that you are becoming. I'm so proud of you focusing. I'm so proud of you. I'm just proud of you, our money. And I want you to keep up the good work. And remember, mama going to always be here. No matter what, I'm going to be here.